the European Arrest Warrant uh, was created to ensure that uh, an order for arrest issued by uh, the courts of uh, one member state uh, could be directly enforced by the courts of a different member state, member state of the European Union. Um, it's a sort of uh, fast track uh, extradition process uh, within the European Union. For example, let's say that a person has been convicted or is being prosecuted in the UK uh, for a certain crime and he or she is right now living in Spain. Well, by sending this type of uh, warrant, the UK authorities uh, require the Spanish uh, courts uh, to arrest and to transfer such person so that he can be put on trial uh, or he can be even taken to prison in the UK. Uh, once the requested person has been located or has been found in Spain, uh, the police, the Spanish police, will arrest him and will bring him before a central investigating court here at here at Madrid. Uh, that detention must uh, take place uh, within uh, 20, 72 hours uh, of the arrest. The arrested person must be informed by the Spanish court about the contents of uh, this uh, uh, arrest warrant and so that he can either consent or he can oppose it. If the person consents to surrender uh, to the authorities of the requesting state and also if the, if the pub Spanish public prosecutor does not uh, uh, submit any objection against uh, such surrender, uh, the judge will uh, issue an order um, for surrender to this uh, requesting state and that, this, that decision will, be, will not be subject to any appeal. On the other hand, if the person refuses uh, to be sent to, to his country uh, for whatever reason, or if the public prosecutor finds uh, any grounds for refusal of this uh, warrant for arrest, uh, then what this investigating judge must do is he must uh, uh, submit the whole case, the whole proceedings to a higher court, uh, also here in Madrid, and that court will decide uh, within 60 days uh, of the arrest uh, what uh, will happen with this person. If the decision is finally to to accept this uh, warrant and to send this person to his uh, home country um, this surrender will take place no later than 10 days after the final uh, decision um, the, the the requesting state will designate will appoint uh, the specific uh, police authority that will come to Spain uh, uh, to pick up the requested person uh, meanwhile, the person will be will be remanded in custody or will be bailed. At the hearing uh, later on, uh, the judge uh, will determine um, whether the offense is one for which a person can be surrendered, and if in that case, uh, the judge will consider uh, whether there's any statutory prohibitions or or grounds for refusal of this uh, request for arrest um, who, which are these uh, grounds for uh, refusal uh, first would be age uh, let's say that person is over or under the age uh, for criminal responsibility in Spain also uh, the passage of time uh, since the alleged crime um, also another reason would be if the Spanish government has pardoned that person, um, also uh, whether the person is already serving a sentence uh, for the same crime uh, here in Spain. The accused person uh, must be informed of the warrant and he also has the right to be assisted by a lawyer, by a Spanish local lawyer. Also he has the right to be uh, helped by an uh, interpreter if necessary and of course he uh, has to the right to be heard by the investigating judge or by the executing judge um, um, if he wishes so uh, a family member can be also advised uh, must informed about the, the fact of this detention 
and also his home country's uh, consulate will be informed about the arrest. The main issue here is that under this um, no questions asked uh, rule uh, that governs uh, these European warrants, um, Spanish police are obliged to, to arrest suspects uh, no matter what the char charges may be, sometimes even for uh, extremely minor offenses, even in very trivial cases. Um, so we find a, a problem of uh, proportionality. Uh, some countries are using these uh, arrest warrants uh, uh, to pursue people uh, for uh, very minor offenses. Uh, just imagine the effect uh, on the lives of individuals uh, that are being extradi extradited uh, to their countries for very minor offenses when they have already settled in Spain and they're living here peacefully. Um, the issuing of uh, this type of European warrants for minor offenses uh, and the breach of this principle of uh, proportionality are things that the lawyer uh, should uh, be very aware of when comes to defend uh, his client.